Hello my loves, hope everyone's had a great week. This week's video is of this thrift number that I transformed to this gorgeous piece. You guys, love is an understatement for this dress and I was so happy that everything fell in place just how I'd wanted it. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this, then just keep watching. To begin I took off the arms and detached the rippled top piece and carefully took apart the lace detail and placed it aside then took out the elastic band at the, at the waist. I then cut the body's back section open and trimmed off about an inch of the bottom section just so they were equal and stitched it down using straight stretch stitches then proceeded to stitch the back close. I traced out a pattern using a stretch fabric dress and cut out with a 2 inches allowance because I wasn't sure of the extent of stretch to this dress so I did this to be on the safe side just in case the stretch wasn't as much as I'd anticipated. I then proceeded to sew the sides down then tried the dress on and ended up trimming off about an inch on the sides again and was really happy that I didn't have to install a zipper. I then took the dresses sleeves and cut four equal strips then sew them down to have one long strip. This I pressed with an iron like so then pinned, pinned it around the top of the dress then used my favorite pattern stitch.
cut off the remaining hanging band and place it aside then close the small open back section. I then folded the dress from the front middle section and traced about 4 inches and cut it at an angle like so. Next I took the bottom strip that was left and did long straight stitches and created frills that I pinned around the bottom of the dress and stitched it down. I was happy here since I didn't have to do hemming on this frill section since it was already done. I then took the rippled piece and cut it in two equal pieces saving the small bottom strip for use later then folded each of them and cut them in half again then joined the sides to have two long strips. I then hemmed each of the strips and did long loose stitches for gathers. I took the remaining band strip and cut it in half then pinned it on the ruffled piece and stitched it down. Next I took the elastic band and cut an inch less of my arm circumference just so it was snug enough and inserted it in the band using a safety pin then secured both ends and stitched the sides together.
I did the exact same procedure for the other arm to have these two pieces that I joined to the dress's bodice. I then took the lace and small strip that I'd placed aside and inserted it in the holes on both ends to make a choker and with that I was all done. This is the final look that is honestly in my top favorite transformations yet. Let me know your thoughts on the same and if this is something that you guys would wear. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys on the next project. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful time wherever you are. Bye guys!